Hi and welcome to my channel. I am Sophie Luscious and this video is my jab match video. So it is a continuation of all my um, ancestry genealogy DNA type videos. Um, it is also helping me in my research of um, my family tree. I do know a lot of my family members, um, thankfully, but um, there are two key areas in the family that I'm, look, I'm looking into to know more about, particularly my mum's dad. Um, he passed away when she was quite young. And my dad's family. Um, me and my siblings are keen to delve deeper and get to know more. Okay, okay so there are different calculators in GEDmatch. Um, you simply upload your DNA. It tells you which one to which method of upload to use depending on who you use to do your DNA test with and then you basically just go and try to learn. There are tutorials, I watched some but thankfully to all the YouTubers out there I thank you so much for your tutorials and this is um, the results for me okay. So if you bear with me I'll try to get through them. So a lot of people use the Heathio Helix um, calculator and I'm using the he Ethio Helix Africa K10 plus French. Now it has me down as the biggest one is West Africa at 59.03 and then we have Eastern Bantu 19.91 Blacker Pygmy 7.2, Nilo Saharan 3.89, North Africa 0.51, Embuti Pygmy 0.55, Khoisan 1.99, Hadza 1.08, French 3.45, and Omotic 2.39. On which some came up um i was looking i did some a google to see which would be best for someone who's african caribbean and harapa world seems to be popular um okay so with the harapa world my results are as follows west africa 84.88 east africa 4.97 pygmy 3.8 mediterranean 2.17 san 1.92 Northeast European 1.46, Balak, or is that Balash, Balush, um, 0.53, and South Indian 0.28. Now I find that one interesting because in my family's my family's history that I've been spoken to about, there's some um, there's supposed to be Indian ancestry, so you know it's, it is what it is. It's, mm. Okay, the next the next um calculator that I used is the MDLPK sixteen, and it breaks down my and my ethnicity as Sub Saharan ninety one point two five, ancestor three point two nine, East African one point six eight, Neolithic one point five five, Northeastern European zero point six three. Indian 0.63, North African 0.52, and Step 0.45. Um, again, just at the Harappa World, MD MDLP is picking up Indian, which um, ancestry DNA land and my family tree DNA, it doesn't even come up as a trace region. So um, I need to learn more about this. Now, I also use the MD, MDLP K23B calculator, and the breakdown goes Sub Saharan 72.49, Archaic African 20.88, European Early Farmers 1.91, Khoisan 1.39, South Central Asian 1.05. North African 1, East African 0.98, Archaic Human 0.21, and African Pygmy 0.09. Okay, so if anyone knows um, how to look into 
archaic human and archaic African, please let me know. As far as I'm aware, the archaic the archaic African part, um, they haven't. They it's it's a kind of an ambiguous term. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah. How do where do I go from here to research that more? The next calculator is Punt DNA L K eight Africa only. Um, my results are West Benu Congo fifty seven point zero one, East Benu Congo twenty six point three five, Western Semitic four point seven one, Nilo Saharan three point five, Sa Southern HG. I guess that means hunter gatherers. 3.23 Ubang Ubangian Congo or is that Ubangian? How do you pronounce that? Um that's 3.09 Omatic 1.76 and Eastern Hunter Gatherers 0.36. Okay, so those are the calculators that I've used with um, on Jed Match, which I am more than satisfied with, um, I do feel that um, Jed Match would indeed benefit from a calculator that is specifically targeted to people who are African Caribbean, um, as opposed to African American or European or all those other communities. Um, and it would be nice so if anyone's out there or if someone knows how to create a calculator, I don't mind having a go. Maybe not, but yeah. So um, overall, I do. In, I've enjoyed using GEDmatch. Now there are some family members on there. I have no idea how to work out the percentages, but I've been given a, a chart um, in a DNA group that I joined, which um, explains um, how to work out how close you are based on the center organs. Anyway, so yeah, that's my Jed Match. Um, that's how that's the Jed Match calculator that I've used on my how I've found it. Um, if you have any tips for me, please um, let me know. And thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I plan to continue my ancestry DNA journeys, um, and I will update as time goes by. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.